muted. Jason Gray peeling off with the two face cards. And uh, each player beaconed in on that flop, hoping to match. And of course they didn't. Well, First to bet wins. Barry's come alive just lately. 20,000 20, carrying on that bluff. And Jason Gray can go no further yeah. unless the jack has turned to a queen. <laughs> Baza Hearn has really picked up his game just lately, okay? He's developed things he never had a few hours ago. He's, he's raising with nothing. He's betting flops when he's missed. He's moving his chips all in. He's gone into second spot, and he's a serious contender. Uh, this is one guy who could have a great future in poker if he stuck with it. I know he's got a lot of things going on, but he's got some game as well. If you've made the money he has down the years, regardless how tight you are, you must have some white brain cells up there somewhere. That's my contract, the match room finished. <laughs> so Shaw, King under the gun, has seen his chips dwindle down to third place from first. And they're all folding around to Arthur Manfredi. But uh, Roy, we've seen a lot of movement in this level. It looked like Manfredi was unstoppable. It looked like Shaw was running in second, and then Barry Hearn, out of nowhere, has put some dents in the armor. Well, the only guy with some play in his game was Michael Shaw. He was the guy making moves with nothing, but suddenly Baz has just woken up. He's betting away on flops where he's got absolutely nothing. He's making moves. And if he continues this, well, he'll be up, up amongst the favorites. Two face cards from the button, excuse me, off the button. And Hearn now has suddenly plenty of chips to gamble a little bit. Looks like he's planning a raise out. Cool. No, cool. a call. The troops are not calling. Jason will see that as weakness, Pass. but he's not getting involved. Call. Check. There's Manfredi. Queen five. And Michael Shaw, the love boat there, just happy to get a free flop. Check. Now, Barry should have the Check. upper hand here. He's the guy that's limped in the pot. He's the guy that shouldn't be in the pot. And yet again, he's representing. Pass. He's going to take Pass. it down. He's playing like a man inspired. <laughs> <Heard>. Not one <laughs> to... Failed to spot weakness. Two players checked to him, and he said, I got some of that, even though it was a bluff. He's been one of the tightest players at the table, but all of a sudden, they've hit 5 in 10 territory, and Hearn's gone from idle into overdrive. This is the PartyPoker.com European Open on 5. We've been on 5 for 8 nights here. And one of these four players taking a hundred fifty thousand dollars in cash. Manfredi with the best shot at that right now. He's chip leader, but Roy turning the screws, folding the pocket pair on the button. On the button with a pocket pair. Now the money would have gone in, I'm sure, because he would raise with that pair of threes normally. I don't know why he hasn't. Maybe he's tilted up. Maybe he's just sitting back and thinking, hey, there's a couple of short stacks at the table. I'm just going to take my time. But uh, that hand, bizarrely, didn't create a lot of action. Fourth place player here, guaranteed $40,000. Not a bad day's work, but there's 110 more thousand. If you can hoist the trophy, not a bad ho trophy to hoist would it be. Manfredi has really changed his game, Roy. He's put his seatbelt on. Well, it's Jason Gray's big door. blind, and Jason Gray is down to a bowl of rice, 35,000 chips. A whole stack of yellows, but they're only worth 1,000 each. And is he considering that the king may be good? Ray, 10,000 in the big blind, only about 25,000. And the question is, behind. if I pass this one, I'm going to do it in 10 grand. <laughs> I can't keep passing. I've got to take a stand sooner or later. And right now, sooner looks the good option. Pass. 
Just giving it up. Gray will wait. I'm having a bad day here, boys. <laughs> if I was playing, I'd, I'd have had it one already. The Marina winging those cards. It'll be up to Michael Shaw, but everybody has to be thinking about Jason Gray right now, Roy. He's so short as to be a thin pancake, and uh, you wouldn't want to go after him with no cards right now, would you? Absolutely not, but he showed just there. He's still laying hands down. He's still waiting out to find that big hand, and um, Barry kind of characteristically just calls with a sizable hand. Kojak on the button, and Gray down to thin and none. Just happy to have more than one chance to see a flop. Manfredi could be in trouble if a king hits. And Roy, if Jason Gray hits a pair here, it's going to be all in. Check. Check. All check. Free cards for everyone. Straight draw for Jason okay. Gray. Jason Gray, think about this. Everybody check to the round of twos come. It can help no one. Tank in your short stack, it will get through. Roy, the situation is where there's more money in the pot than in Jason Gray's stack. He doesn't have the best hand, but can he bluff it? Check. Check. I don't check. think bluffs in his poker vocabulary. King, King Jack. It's not a case of thinking the Queen's winning. It's a case of Jason Gray should have realized no one had anything on the flop with a 4-6-9. The two could have helped absolutely no one, and he could have made his big move there. And Roy Brindley, unfortunately for Jason Gray, Barry Hearn's going to be first to speak, but unfortunately for Jason Gray, he's in a situation right now where even if he doubles through, He's still going to be a short stack. Well, it's quite amazing. Barry Hearn's really got into the argument. 234,000 in chips. Arthur Manfredi, 240. In between them, they're gobbling the other two guys up like Pac-Man. Yeah, Michael Shaw, who was flying before, has been grounded. But I think these players will try and outlast Michael Shaw. Excuse me, outlast Jason Gray. It'll be worth $10,000 right now. Hearn with an ace under the gun. Very playable. Cool. Just called again. Well, he's doing a lot of limping. And Gray, ace on the button. That could be the best he can hope for, Roy. He barely has enough to raise. I think it's 15,000. Cool. Well, he's leaving himself with 5,000 only. So, so he's going to pass and keep those three chips back if an ace doesn't arrive on the flop? Pass. Option on... Sh Shaw, sure. <laughs> oh, he's found the Cowboys. He beat them earlier and now has made a small raise just trying to suck everybody in. Jason Gray will be all in, and we're going to have a side pot, Roy. 10000 in the side pot between Michael Shaw well, and this Barry is where, Hearn betting this, on the side now. This is where experience comes into play because... Michael has a big hand. He doesn't want Barry to catch up and hit an ace. He doesn't know, but he must suspect that one of his opponents has an ace. When an ace doesn't come, ironically, Michael should come out betting. Now, there is betting on the side between Michael Shaw and Barry Hearn. Jason Gray not eligible to win this side pot. He's only playing for the main pot. Yeah, and he's thrown out a small minimum bet. Barry Hearn thinks, well, what do I make of that? There's plenty in the pot. Wisely lays it down. Hearn gives it up, and now... All in, cards over for the main. Michael Shaw leading, but Jason Gray has a few outs here. Four would make him a wheel, and an ace would make him a higher pair. Well, I think there's only one ace left in the deck. There's five live cards left for him to hit. Okay, this is Jason Gray's swan song here. He needs a four or an ace on the river, or he is out in fourth. And he's missed it. All over. Jason Gray, for a while, it looked like he was going to be out in sixth. Cards did not cooperate tonight, Roy. He could never get moving, but will settle for $40,000 and the knowledge that he played a great tournament. But two kings.